do you have any projections as far as what can be expected with unemployment levels in Illinois and what that means for the housing you kind of mentioned and the greater economy? Yeah, when we, we, when we chart the, the progress of, um, of this, this particular crisis on uh, um, uh, the Illinois economy, um, we, we are seeing some very striking differences to the prior recession in 2008, 2009 through 2012. Illinois uh, entered that recession five to six months after the US economy. This time, it looks as though we are entering the recession exactly the same time as the US because the drop off in um, uh, employment, the increase in the number of job claims has changed in Illinois almost at the same rate as, as nationally. But clearly, I think uh, we're, we're likely to see uh, a very, very sharp impact. And if you look at the charts, it's just dramatic. I mean, the the decline um, of uh, employment and the increase in unemployment claims, uh, you compare that to 2008, 2009, the peak week in, in the last recession was one-tenth of the peak we had two weeks ago nationally, and I'm sure uh, within the state. So I think, I think the, um, the churn that we're seeing now in that labor market is, is clearly going to have um, uh, a depressing effect in the short run on, on the housing market. But whether it's sustained or not is, 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 is critical. So for example, uh, in our modeling, uh, we estimate that the expected job losses for the year will be about what we call 15 million job years. And the reason we use that term is a lot of these jobs will not be lost for the whole year. You know, somebody might lose a job for two or three months, they put on furlough, and they might be called back in. So probably 30, 40, 50 million people will be affected directly or indirectly in the economy, but not necessarily for the whole length of the time. And it's that part of the uh, the picture that I, I think is is the most puzzling here, because in the previous recessions, people were unemployed, huge amounts of them, for long, long periods of time. And the question is, of those 30 plus million, how many of them are likely to be back at work before the end of this year, for example? And most analysts at the moment have no idea how to make a forecast on that, because we have no historical uh, basis uh, on which to do it. So we, we are uh, probably um, as challenged as we've ever been in terms of our modeling and our forecasting. And I think uh, there's a very high probability we're going to be wrong. And let's hope um, we're wrong in the sense that we overestimate the impacts and it doesn't turn out to be quite so bad. <laughs>